You remember that lie that came out some days ago? That border patrol mounted on horseback were whipping Haitian immigrants. They were whipping them. And we looked at that on this show as being pushed by basically the entire mainstream media. We were looking at that and said, that's not true. That's not true. I guess, you know, I'm really glad that right now big tech is just focused on uh, spreading uh, public health propaganda because if, if they had been focused on spreading immigration propaganda, then they probably would have taken us down for observing the fact that the border patrol agents were not using whips against the Haitian illegal aliens. Well, it turns out that we were right and the establishment media were wrong. And they were not using whips and they were not using chains. And now even the establishment media themselves are admitting this. Here's Jake Tapper calling out uh, a little, little late for my liking, but Jake Tapper at least finally acknowledging the truth and calling out the health secretary or the, the uh, Homeland Security Secretary, Mayorkas. Some of the initial descriptions of those images were just patently false. There's now video out there that provides more context uh, having seen the video, uh, are you certain that there was actually wrongdoing? Have you? Uh, Cause there's now, it would seem it's pretty clear that actually the initial reports that we were told were not true. We were going to play a clip of Brian Stelter who made the same point. Brian Stelter on CNN came out and he said, you know, the initial reports, they just weren't true. And actually they weren't using whips. So I had that. I was, I watched that clip last night. That clip has basically been strug- scrubbed from the internet. By the time that my editors today went to grab that clip and put it into the show, it was gone. Why was that? Was that because of CNN didn't like it up there? I don't know, maybe. Was it because big tech didn't like it up there? Very possibly, very, very possibly. Knowing what they do, knowing what they do to this very show for spreading true information, wouldn't be surprised that on the rare occasion that CNN says something that's true, big tech would take that down. But I don't know. All I know is it's gone. But but Brian Stelter did it too, so I want to give him credit. If you're watching this right now, something tells me you look at some stuff on the internet that maybe you don't want people to know about. All right. And you use the little incognito window and you make sure the blinds are closed. And then you type in www.dailywire.com. You type in all these sort of things that are very politically incorrect. Well, protect your data with ExpressVPN. Simple app. It's for your computer. It's for your smartphone. It encrypts all of your network data, tunnels it through a secure VPN server, so that your internet service provider cannot see any of your activity. Think about all of your life that's on the internet. Watch out about it, okay? I do not go online now without ExpressVPN on my phone, on my computer, just do it. Very, very simple. Download the app, one button, check it out today. Go to expressvpn.com. Go to expressvpn.com slash Michael. That is E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash Michael, M-I-C-H-A-E-L. Get three extra months for free. Expressvpn.com slash Michael to learn more and protect your data. Now, this is uh, pretty funny that two people on CNN would come out and, and call out the media for spreading, and Stelter was doing this in particular. He said, calling out the media for spreading this misinformation that uh, the, the Border Patrol agents were using whips on the Haitian migrants because CNN was spreading a ton of that misinformation. Who was doing it? Chris Cuomo uh, shared, report, quote, reports of people being beaten, said the images smack of a bygone era of slavery. No evidence that the, even the Border Patrol reins touched anybody. Aaron Burnett, also on CNN, said, quote, video of Border Patrol agents on horseback confronting Haitian migrants with whips. That was on uh, September 21st on Outfront. Just a complete lie, also on CNN. CNN's White House correspondent, John Harwood, condemned, quote, those horrendous videos of agents on horseback swinging lariats or whips or whatever they are. At least John Harwood is admitting he has no idea what he's talking about by saying, or whatever, or whatever. But he mentions the whips. Just a complete lie from the CNN White House correspondent. Chris Christian Amanpour, who Drew Clavin refers to as Christian Amanpour journalist, rightly so, interviews an activist who said that the photos of the agents, quote, using reins as whips against migrants, they were not only startling and shocking, but it's triggering again. No evidence that that happened. CNN anchor Laura Jarrett misled viewers about, quote, disturbing new video of Border Patrol agents on horseback trying to stop migrants from crossing the border into the U.S. Look at that using whips. That was on early start on September 21st. Complete lie. Jake Tapper himself, actually. <laughs> said he didn't quite go so far as to mention the whips, but he said border patrol agents are aggressively threatening migrants and aggressively confronting Haitian migrants. I guess 
I guess that could be true in the sense that law enforcement is supposed to be aggressive against criminals. I guess that's the point. But he seems to be framing it in such a way that's pretty silly, in a way that he's actually kind of condemning now. And CNN's April Ryan did the same thing referring to the reins or whips, whatever, right? Again, admitting she knows nothing, but still using whips. So I'm glad that CNN, that Tapper and Stelter are coming out and saying, yeah, the media's got to stop, stop this kind of stuff. Well, before you accuse anyone else, take a look at yourself, fellas, because CNN is the chief purveyor of that kind of fake news. I'm so glad that you enjoyed this video on YouTube. I'm so glad YouTube let me keep this video up because sometimes I say true things and then YouTube doesn't want me to say those true things. So they say that the true things are false things and then they promote false things and it's really frustrating. If you want to stop that kind of preposterous, dangerous, anti-American censorship, I would strongly recommend you go check out the audio version of this podcast, which is harder for the big tech tyrants to censor. You can get that at The Michael Knowles Show. It's free. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Play, wherever you get your podcasts. Head on over there before uh, some of these other joints uh, try to censor us entirely. <laughs>